Today marks a moment NASA scientists have been working toward for years, and we have been telling you about this Space Watch story since late 2021. It's very dramatic music coming in because it's a very dramatic story. The James Webb Telescope is moving into its permanent position in a distant orbit. And Lana Zach joins us with more on all this. Lana. Hi, hey, Lana. guys. It's great to be here with you mm -hmm. and to tell you about this moment because the telescope is going to stay in this orbit while it synchronizes its mirrors over the next several months to hone in on a kind of space exploration that's never before been accomplished by humans. It is a risky venture, especially when you consider two things, the cost and potential failure. At a whopping $10 billion price tag, the James Webb Telescope is an investment, to say the least. And some legislators originally balked at the project because so much can go wrong in space. And this particular endeavor had hundreds of little things that all needed to happen perfectly for the mission to be a success. Incredibly, so far, so good. Let me show you an example of just how precarious this mission is, though. It's well known how problematic space travel can be, thanks to the extreme environment. And as you can see, the telescope is going to be bombarded with extreme temperatures. These are the solar panels, which are going to be facing the sun. You can see that they're covered in this microscopic gold plating. That's because it's going to reach a scorching 185 degrees Fahrenheit, a full 50 degrees higher than the hottest day ever mm. recorded here on on Earth. Then on the flip side, the mirrors are going to be positioned in temperatures that will plummet down to a negative 388 degrees, more than 400 degrees below freezing. So you may be wondering, why position this in such an extreme situation? But the reason for this placement and this afternoon's adjustment is so that the spacecraft can settle into Lagrange Point 2, which NASA says is a location in space where the gravitational forces and the orbital motion will create a balance, which is going to allow the telescope to hover as it orbits around. The James Webb is positioned more than 930,000 miles behind the Earth as it relates to the sun. And it's going to continue to orbit as its gears uh, start taking these potentially awe-inspiring pictures which, you know, brings me to my favorite part, which is the mission. The James Webb Telescope is nearly 100 times more powerful than the Hubble, and NASA scientists believe it's going to be able to capture light streaming from galaxies and stars more than 13 billion years ago. Wow. For perspective, Amazing. that's three times older than our sun. This means that the telescope has the potential to not only give insight into our planet's origin story, but could show us what space was like before our solar system even existed. It could help prove or disprove long debated hypotheses like string theory and the Big Bang Theory. And we will be one step closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe. Amazing. What can the James Webb not do? It seems capable of anything. I'll have a couple of very <laughs> non-scientific things to say. First, the color is beautiful. That yeah. yellow, it's kind of like a CBS Morning's yellow yeah. almost. Oh, right. uh, also, that's some pretty fancy tinfoil they've got wrapped around <laughs> it, that. It like is gold plating. Gold it is, plated it is tin actually foil? microscopic gold plating. Um, and this is bigger, these mirrors are bigger than anything that has ever been launched into space, obviously. And the reason why NASA puts it this way, a bigger bucket can collect more rain. They can collect this. They can collect more pictures and go much further. Their their ability to see deeper into the universe is, is enhanced. Did by they all address this. whether or not this would help us determine whether or not there are other civilizations out there? You know, baby steps. Tanya, baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Well, we'll I mean, to, you're we'll traveling so many billions of years through space, right? And what we're seeing, what we're seeing, is actually going to be. History, so right. it, it's going to be historic because obviously by the time anything gets to us, it will have taken place years. So, eons so that ago. is what's so hard to wrap your mind around. When you look at the night sky, you're looking at the past because right. the right. light takes time to travel to you. Right. So we are Amazing. learning about our history while simultaneously learning about our future. And right? maybe we'll hear from another civilization. Yeah, I hope so. I kind of <laughs> hope so. <laughs> I'll report it if we find anything out. Thanks, guys. Well, Anna, thank you so much.